Hello everyone, I'm Trimprod. Welcome back to King's Quest Mask of Eternity. Last time we died to this guy over here, and apparently hard difficulty is a little bit harder than I thought. So I, um, between videos I looked up in the manual, and the uh, mushrooms, and the crystals, and then there's two other items that are healing items, and they go in intensity as you go to the right, and then this is a potion of resistance. And then there's a few other potions. There's a potion of even invisibility. And I think there's one that makes you do more damage and stuff. But we'll get to those at some later point. Um, also, when I went back through and played up to this point again because I didn't save, I found out that these barrels, you can actually attack them and break them. And there's stuff inside. Like I found a few mushrooms inside this one. And I found a few crystals inside that one. So we're going to take on this guy, and I'll probably have to use a few healing potions, mushrooms, or whatever to um, not die to him, but let's see if we can take him on. Get over here. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. I think um, we actually do a different amount of damage. It's like randomly generated, and same with him. I could be making that up completely, but it seems to me that... Like every for every strike that he does, sometimes they don't seem to connect or they don't do as much damage. I don't know, maybe it's just the way the sounds work or something. We'll see. Oh, I forgot. There's this guy over here too. We'll take him out. I don't really want to take him out in the water because, as you can see, most of the time they you know, drop items and you can't see them when they're in the water, so you can end up losing some gold or mushrooms if you're not paying attention. Oh gosh, another one coming. Let me heal up a little bit. Oh. Doesn't wanna doesn't wanna fight. I, th I think we still wanna fight him. Is there a mushroom? Yep, there was a mushroom. Alright. The one problem that I have with this game, I mean the graphics are not that great. Hold on a second. I'm gonna kill him out quick. Heal back up. Um yeah, so as I was saying. Like, I can deal with the bad graphics, that's not a problem, like, it, that doesn't bother me, but the fact that the load distance, like, the pop-in, it's, it's such a small area, it, like, there's the post, like, right over here, that, like, that's not very far away, like, I can run there in, like, not that long of a time, and, I mean, yeah, it's, it's an older game, so it's to be expected, but it'd be really nice if you could adjust those settings in a menu or something. Let's see who this is. Mr. Kavanaugh, I am sickened by your plight. I promise to do all I can to save you from further torment. No baddies in here. Actually, I don't know if any time this music's playing, I, I, I don't think there's any time when this peaceful music playing, or maybe it's just any indoor place, that you get attacked by anyone. Hmm. A child's drawings. Poor woman. It must be torture for her. I must do all I can to free her. That does not look like a woman. <laughs> That's maybe better from the... Oh yeah, there's her face. Okay, that a little bit better. Nothing in the pot. A child must live here. Yes, a child must live here. Don't want to say anything about their bed? Okay. I'm not sure if there's like actually like loading taking place between here because he likes it takes you out of running when you enter a building but as you transition back to outside he slows down too so it's kind of bizarre. I don't know. A child must yes, live here. Yes, a child must live here but where are they? Nothing in the tree. Let's see if there's anything cutscene <laughs> he's like clipped through the chair I like how he's using a news the rolled up newspaper <laughs> that's funny die oh gosh ah. all right we'll, we'll 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 have to redo that I should really save after every major battle let me just redo that quick off camera all right guys we're back and in case you didn't notice we are in a different spot and that's because i messed up and forgot to start recording so we made our 
way up the hill after defeating the guy that was in the outhouse. We took out two more guys, and then we came inside of here, and we took out another guy. And I'm really upset that I couldn't show you all that, but... So, we came in here, we pushed this um, hay bale, and grabbed an axe out of the ceiling here. So now we have this handy dandy hatchet. And we dropped save, and now we're gonna go outside. Into a cutscene, apparently. Hmm. And some spears. What's this? A lack. What goes here? Okay. So if he was the spears, who threw the spears? Yeah, By you're not getting it. Sir? <laughs> Enough talk. Give it here. Or fight for it then. On guard. Oh, I thought we were still in the cutscene. <laughs> Apparently, I have control again. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna take this potion to get some resistance after I get my health up. Um, because I anticipate this being a very difficult fight. So let's do that. And then we'll run in and attack him. Holy smokes. Even with the 50% resistance, it's still kicking my butt. Whew. Alright. Whence came he to Daventry? Alright, before I forget. I'm gonna drop a quick save. All right, we're back. All right, let's pick some stuff up. Another, that's good. Another resistant potion to replace the one I just got. Uh, I believe these little ice cream cone looking things are extra damage potions. Another crystal. I think that's all he has. Yeah, there's the two guys that came. So the outhouse that that guy was in was right back there so I beat him came up here these two guys came jumped down to meet me and then I just went inside here and there was another guy right inside the door there I'm gonna see if there's anything around back here I don't think there is oh don't fall down um, yeah it looks like a dead end this in most games looks like you could just walk down this hill I'm pretty sure I remember falling to my death hundreds of times in this areas on these cliffs I'm pretty sure there's no like slide down this hill feature um, I don't think you walk faster if you put your it's hard to tell if you walk faster when you put your weapon away or not I like keeping my weapon out because if somebody sneaks up on you you can attack them yeah it looks like he runs about the same speed um, so let's check our map, see where else we can go now that we have, oh, so we have the hatchet, so now we're going to go chop down, just wander along this bank here. Um, so yeah, we're going to wander over to that water mill, I think that's the right word, water mill, and I think you can like bunny hop along faster, uh, you lose momentum. Um, so yeah, we're going to chop this tree down. Notice the water mill is long to a stop and we get a little bit more experience. Just doing 45, 4 health. I'm going to keep this up for a little bit. If it knows, knows you guys, let me know, I guess. It's kind of nice to be able to see your stats and as you level up. So, I have to do a backflip here. We'll go third person to show you guys. Um, so yeah, you have to like do this weird backflip thing to get up there because apparently he jumps higher if he does a backflip. It's kind of interesting. I don't think there's anything else up here. It's cool that there's no inside loading area, so you can totally see like all the outside stuff without uh like the windows actually are windows in this game, unlike even some modern games. Like So we've got this rope and grapple hook that can only be used in special areas. And there's a little symbol that comes up in that corner or that corner, I believe. Um, when 
whenever you're allowed to use it. So I'm not really sure where we're supposed to go now. Um, there's quite a bit of map unexplored. I kind of want to go to the cemetery now that we've got the new axe and we can do some decent damage. And I'm hoping this... Did I go in here? Door's closed. I guess we're going to go in here. See if there's anything in here worth grabbing. Who are you? You shall see the light of day once more, good wife Sims. I swear it. I'm not going to be able to keep all these Under people. Under these trying circumstances, I'm sure these good people will understand my present need for their gold. Quit interrupting me. Um, I'm not going to be able to remember any of these people's Under names. Under these trying circumstances, I'm sure these good people will understand my present need for their gold. You just said that. Oh, hey, baby. Even a poor babe in a cradle. I've got to stop this, to undo this this evil oh cool some more armor so we're at four right now these leather boots will help me immeasurably another one to our resistance so i think this is five percent damage resistance because when you take the potion in the manual it says 50 percent or 50 depending which is greater and when we took the potion it jumped up to 50 so I think this is your percentage damage resistant. I could be wrong on that, though. Alright, if I remember correctly, I want to go up here. And before I do anything too crazy, we're going to drop a save. Alright. We are back. And we're going to put this away. It is a long jump. But I can make it. So there's our hint. But apparently I'm supposed to be able to jump from this cliff all the way over to there. Wish us luck. Whew. First go. Good job. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a part here. Next time. Uh-oh. Yep. Next time we'll do that. Alright, just kidding. We're going to do this now. We'll play a little bit longer. Alright, let's get our weapon out. And I'm gonna just assume that we can just drop down here. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, nice. Nice! Am I gonna get to keep this crossbow? Oh, yeah. Woo! And zombies are popping up. Alright, let's see. We can switch weapons. And can actually do damage. He doesn't know where I am or something? <laughs> this guy is a tank. Whew. I'm pretty sure this thing's just full of zombies everywhere. Can we open this? Alas, the entrance is barred. Alas, the entrance is barred. Can we do a power attack with this? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, I don't want to get too close. Uh oh, I think I just spawned another one too. Yeah, I'd much rather take them out with uh, the crossbow. Even if it takes a little bit longer, there's no, no worries whatsoever about getting hit. Yay, more mushrooms. I do like that you can pick up from quite quite a ways away. Unfortunately, I don't think you can atta attack with a melee weapon from very far away. Like, yeah, I don't, like, I can't hit the, the uh, wall here. Oh. Maybe that's because it doesn't make any sort of noise. That does. So. Eh. It's about that far that I can hit stuff. Keep that in mind. Don't need to be right on top of people. Switch back to the crossbow for right now. Let's see if there's anything over this way. Oh. So I could have just walked around the corner here and attacked that guy. But uh, at least there's that cool cutscene and I didn't die. Because that guy probably would have been pretty tough. Although he did have a crossbow. I don't know. It was fun. 
necessary? Probably not, but worth it to see that extra little bit. All right, back up. He walks backwards slower than he actually walks forward, which is kind of interesting. And you can do that like long jump every once in a while too. It's like a double shot there. I probably could take these guys out pretty quickly just meleeing them, but I really don't. Oh, let's let's try taking this guy out. Melee. I think that hit him. These guys don't really pay attention. That was a power attack. So, um, power attacks actually work pretty good against these guys. Uh-oh. I've got two of them. Three of them coming up now. Oh, wow. I can pick that mushroom up all the way from... Okay, I don't know. Now nah, we can take this guy out quick. Oh, no. He's going to hit me first. Ouch. Oh, he doesn't even do that much damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, probably just worth spending a couple mushrooms to take those guys out quicker. Another one down there. I feel like I'm playing Mario talking about mushrooms all the time. Hit him. One more. Uh, no, come back. Yes. Yay. These guys aren't that difficult, especially since they don't move very fast. Oh, come back. Don't run away. We want to be friends. Seems every single one of them drops one mushroom. Looks like I can do some, like, the attack backup attack thing that a lot of zombie games have to, which is good to know. Let's see if we can close. Is there any, any other zombies that want to come out? Ah! No, don't hurt me. Any other zombies? Um, I'm going to put my weapon away. And see if I can push the tops of any of these coffins off, possibly. It doesn't seem like he's even trying. Let's see, what do these gravestones say? Here lies John. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. Is there anything out? Pull my weapon back out before I get in trouble. I thought there might be more zombies spawning over here because that moss stuff, but maybe not. It looks like this is barred too. Can I just chop down? No. Oh, we can use our grappling hook right here. Let's do that. The slow walk up. Alright. Before we do anything too crazy, I'm going to drop save. Um, I'm pretty sure if I drop, um, use the grappling hook again, he'll just grapple right back down. Um, however, I want to go down here, and I'm pretty sure I'd die if I just drop down, so we need to grapple down again. I do like the grappling hook mechanic. It adds a little bit more of a um, level, although the rope kind of magically adjusts to whatever length that it needs to be for the grappling to work. Ooh, level up. See, I was doing 45 damage with the axe. Now I'm doing 50. So it looks like um, 5 points every level to damage. And I want to say we were doing 13, so maybe 2 for 
that. I could be wrong. But. Oh, cool. We have a oops, candle now. So we've got the mask. Oh, and you can move them. Can I see what they... I can't do anything with them. But So I've got one of the mask pieces and this candle here. Don't know what the candle's for yet. Oh, looks like there's somebody here. Who are you? Not even a priest is immune to this vile affliction which infects us. I swear, Father, that you shall walk upon our fair land once more while there is still breath left in me. Not even a priest. Alms for the poor. Hmm. Is there money inside? No, can't get in. Alms for the poor. Hmm. Maybe you want money? I want my money back. Tis beyond my reach. Tis beyond my reach. Tis beyond my reach. So apparently, if anytime you click without it. Oh, that's interesting. There's a hole in the floor here. Let's see if put my weapon away see if we can push this oh that switches weapons switch back put weapon away push it oh yeah oh that's right I remember this so there's a portal over there let's go see what's in the portal um did we gain a little bit of experience when I dropped that in Okay, we're not giving you guys any more money. You don't need money. I need the money more than you. Remember, I was talking about that with all the other people in town. I'd take their money and say, oh, I'm sure I need this more than you. Because, you know, you're stone. And I can actually help you. But will I? Ooh. Always running into walls. And down. can't jump like once I'm close to the ground you won't let me jump up or anything you can only go up or down oh I need to reactivate running mode I'm not sure if I actually net move faster if I get a little bit of a run speed and then jump I don't know if it'd be fast it feels like it's a little bit faster but I don't know if it actually is any faster all right before we go through the big scary portal and then drop another safe. Run away! My yeah. weapon, it passed right through it. Yeah, don't don't talk about it. Run, <laughs> just run. Good, good, good call. Good call. God, dark monster. It was neither flesh nor blood. What now, Raven? You watch me. Why? Um, follow the Raven, I guess. Dante. Dante's his name. Use his name. Poor Dante. No respect. He's just trying to help out. See? Never mind Dante. He just tries to be helpful. He's just trying to be helpful and we won't even call him by his name. Good wizard, I beseech you. Give me guidance. I have discovered the portal to the dimension of death. How do you but know upon that? entering it, have encountered a foul beast of darkness. Aye, the dimension of death. It is said a monstrous shadow bane guards the threshold, and that it cannot be slain by any weapon. It can only be dispelled through the means of magical illumination. Well, that would have been helpful to know before. Be I can concoct a magical illumination spell, lad. Go, bring me a flame from a sacred place. Check. The ring of a dead hero. Don't have any of that. And the ashes of a torch. Also, don't I have that. 
will be done. It will be done, but it will be done in the next part. I'm Trump Rod, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.